got this it's like an 87 turbo diesel jetta it's got low miles and all kinds of like cool stuff it's lowered it's got the the five stars it's got your sports shifter all kinds of stuff it's a pretty pretty cool car um but the injection pump doesn't hold a prime anymore if you take off one of these hoses and you i blew back through because i wasn't getting a prime right here on the pump right there air is coming out of it so i know that that's bad i don't know if i can do this but i'm going to try it i ordered a pump kit so i gotta pull all these off and then you like you leave two bolts in you just back it out pull it off and you try to like put the o-ring over it if that makes any sense i'll try that all right so i got this uh this bracket off the back of it it holds the choke cable on and also holds some other crap but it's four bolts so uh, it's a two or two, t30s two or five mils don't strip them so now i have two bolts left right here and here so i'm going to crack them loose and then this back cover should like pull back and if it pulls back enough i should be able to grab the o-ring and pull it out and then um slide the new o-ring like over top and put it back in place that's how you do it on mark four so hopefully it'll work on this can you uh, see this in the picture sure. so this is the o-ring that's bad and that's leaking right here so what i was talking about was you you back out these two screws until the back half of the injection pump comes out and then now i'll like i'll cut this o-ring out and then i'll lube up the o-ring and slide it over top of this and then down on and take one screw out at a time one screw out and it'll pop under put the screw back take the bottom screw out it'll pop under screw it back and, and then you know lube it all up and bolt it back in and then try to prime the system if it doesn't prime see where the next leak is um, but hopefully this works because they, you only get one o-ring in that $30 kit and you also got to wait days to get it so hopefully it'll work so this o-ring is already hard as a rock you can tell and it like does not want to come out so you gotta ensure that it comes all the way out otherwise you'll have a real bad time putting the new one on sucks hurt your back all that crap see there's a big chunk come on we'll be back in a second when it actually comes out i don't know what do you think you think that's a complete circle or you think i'm missing a little chunk about to hold the new one up i think i think it could be the complete thing it is so brittle it broke into so many pieces i'll check the new one size to that now there you go a new one for comparison i think that's it I don't think there's any broken pieces because that's yeah, that's look, pretty damn close. Looks like it's good. Yeah. All right. I'll try to fish it on there. Get the getting. Take this pulls out. And now have it over. There you go. How you doing? And now you can put the bolt back. I'll probably put it down here. Honestly, I'll put a bolt down here. And then maybe just I'll even put another one up top because why not at this point you really don't want to have this thing explode on you so you just got to be careful because obviously it's a it's an o-ring you can snap it quick but look it's Especially all back in pick. yeah and watch your pick don't pay, poke it and so it just kept going you know pry it over pry it over remove a bolt put the bolt back in after it's in it's all around obviously it's dirty because of my hands and that so I'm gonna brake clean it off and then I'll silicone it up and then you put it in with these two bolts so it's the, this top one towards the radiator and then the bottom one towards the engine block and you just do that and you're done your big money camera gotta gotta keep it nice jamie bought it you'd have to answer to her that's even worse than answering you here. <laughs> i lubed it up with some silicone spray and then i'm just gonna pull in those two corner bolts that i was just saying evenly and pray you don't pinch it if you pinch it obviously you gotta do it all over again pull it in even now i gotta put this the bracket back on brake clean it all off 
and then uh, fuel lines. It's a decent amount of crap. Fuel lines, uh, fuel return, uh, bleed ports, whatever they're called. And then um, try to prime it. All right, you get pumping. See, it's holding. It's holding yeah. pressure now. Yeah. Buddy. So we're trying to prime it. As soon as some fuel comes through that son bitch, we're good to go. I don't have the best stuff here, huh? We may or may not pause for a commercial break. That time. I gotta go home and clean that stinky dog soon. You're gonna miss another turbo diesel starting up for the first time in months. It took two days for the other one. I'm at 10. All right, just let it hold. It'll start losing pressure, but just keep doing it. It's gotta fill all this up, all the injection pump up. Why does it have a cup in line? Huh? Why does it have that cup Here in it line? Here it comes. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Fill it all the way up. That's why I got a cup in line. Fill <laughs> it up. When you get close to the top, shut off the pressure. Keep so going. It's like going to Concentra for old cars. Buddy, it's going to run now. That does look like some old rank piss, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now I just have to put both the return line on, uh, put the other return hose to the injector on, and then put the battery back in, and then uh, we can crank it until... I'm gonna leave the injector lines loose, and then once you get fuel popping out of them, then you know you got fuel to each injector. Tighten them up, this thing will fire right up and run, no problem. Phil's just waiting on his car to get fixed. So, uh, went to visit the Smith Euro uh, customer waiting lounge. It's currently under renovation, so he decided he'll come out here and wait in the car. again It was getting ready to crank though. It was, but you seen the. Yeah, you gotta like, cool down a minute. We'll try again. Oh, it'll run. Definitely. Phil, get down, bud. Alright, James, start it and floor it. Be fixed obviously because that's there's some bad ground but one straight you like it yeah let's leave it run for a bit is that oh, battery light off It's just squeaky belts. You can start it back up if you want. Should fire up. Three, three. Start it right up. That is good. The plan of this car was to get it and just drive it for a while. It's my buddy's car. I'm trading him an engine for it. And Smooth out. I hope. I still have that silicone spray. What? Stop it, Jesus! Ruin that clip. <laughs> so yeah, the plan was to just drive this for a while, see how it goes. Um, I don't know, it's got a lot of new parts. Austin did a lot of stuff to it. 
you know, it seems to be reliable. It just lost prime one day, and he never he thought it needed an injection pump, but uh, I, mean, I know how to do these seals, so I did that. I still have a ton of other seals, but I'm not gonna mess with any of that stuff. There's no point. It uh, primed up no problem after I replaced that the back housing seal or whatever it's called. You know, before it would not get a prime. Now it gets a prime. That's basically all you need for a diesel. Is if if you don't have a prime, you, you have air in the system. You're not gonna get fuel. So yeah, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, need to recoup money after buying that turd of a truck. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. And then trying to get Alex to buy that, but he doesn't want to because he's poor. Thousands of dollars for a car that was ultimately had at a very great deal. Top secret, we can't mention what that is. Uh, this is a 98 GTI VR6. It's got some nice mods to it, but if you know anything about these cars, 98 is the only year for this color. And now it's 2021, so sometime later. So, I mean, how many are really left at this point? He's trying. He's selling it to himself. <laughs> but he thinks he's gonna get it for what I paid for, it and he's not doing that. I don't. Want, I don't want this car. He's only gonna I buy wanted... it if it's totally done. And then when it's totally done, he's not gonna want to pay. Uh, for a, it. a very long but short story. I wanted one of these cars, this exact car, for a very long time. Couldn't find one settled for a twentieth uh, uh, with an R title, unfortunately, for lack of better words. But yeah, we have the twentieth now, and many years later Steve comes across this car just by a slim chance and yeah now he has it the man that doesn't really need anything else as you guys can see but yeah we're here at uh, Smith's Euros rare Euros if you want to call it that we've got quite a nice little collection here now and I'm sure once you recoup from the caddy truck there'll be uh, probably some other stuff coming soon yep. so if you like channel like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.